friends, it's Cam again, and I've been on a quest to find the perfect sunscreen that fits my many criteria. In the past 10 years or so, I've been wearing sunscreens every day, rain or shine, plus a lot more on beach days. I have combination skin with oily t-zone in the summer and dry cheeks in winter. My favorite sunscreen has to first be cruelty free, meaning not tested on animals at any phase. Millions of animals are killed every year for cosmetic testing, simply because it is a cheaper alternative to more humane methods. I'm not giving my money to companies that put profit above the lives of innocent animals, and I've made another video with more details about this if you want to learn more. Obviously, my favorite sunscreen would have to provide good sun protection. For a chemical sunscreen, I'm looking for at least 4 broad-spectrum UV filters. I'm also looking for a formula that is cosmetically elegant, which leaves no white cast or turns me into a ball of grease. My skin also loves a comfortable formula that is lightweight, doesn't sting my eyes, and doubles as a lightweight moisturizer. Nice to have would be convenient packaging that's easy to dispense and hygienic. And of course, we are using sunscreen on a daily, so it has to be cost effective. If you've tried Korean sunscreens, you know they are superior compared with the regular stuff at the drugstore. I've tried 15 different Korean sunscreens this year alone, and the first is the Beauty of Joseon Ginseng Moist Sun Serum. This comes in a sleek bottle with a pump dispenser and clear lid. The lid is very secure and won't pop easily with one hand, which would make this a safe option for travels. The sunscreen has four chemical filters and has a gel-like consistency of a moisturizer. There's a faint earthy fragrance that resembles that of root veggies. It leaves no white cast and blends easily, but it's a little tacky to touch and looks very shiny. It stings the area around my eyes a little upon application, but the feeling goes away as soon as it dries down. I personally want repurchase simply because it's very underwhelming compared with the cult favorite Beauty of Joseon Relief Sun Rice and Probiotics. Everyone and their grandmas have this in their makeup stash. Now I'm nitpicky, so I have to say I don't love the packaging. It's built like a toothpaste tube that is a pain to squeeze out closer to the end. But if you don't mind the hassle, it is certainly perfect formula-wise, with 4 chemical filters, no white cast, no greasiness, no eye sting, and feels like a lightweight lotion that keeps my skin moisturized and dries down to a satin finish. At a very reasonable price of $18 for 50ml, this is hands down one of my favorites. The brand also has a matte sunstick with mugwort and camellia. This comes in a twist-up tube that fits in the palm of my hands. I can easily pop it open with one hand and it's very easy to get into corners on my face. This has four chemical filters, but you need to apply multiple layers to get adequate protection. While it instantly mattifies the skin at first, the effect doesn't stay long under the sun. Just seconds later, it melts back into a glowy finish. I'm not a fan of this as it feels very heavy when layered. So far, it doesn't break my skin out and I still keep it in my drawer for occasional retouching, but I won't buy this again. If you've tried any other sunstick and have a better experience, let me know in the comment section. A sunscreen which I think is very underrated is the Benton Airfit UV Defense Sun Cream. It is not the prettiest packaging out there, but I love this flat squeeze tube with pointy dispenser tip. It's formulated with four chemical filters with a green tint that doesn't show on skin. What I love is it has a cooling effect that feels very soothing on a hot day, yet does not sting my skin at all. Absolutely no white cast and sinks nicely into my skin without a heavy feel. The only catch is it has a faint smell of green oil which could be that of the rosemary leaf oil in the ingredients. I don't mind the scent and it does dissipate after a few secs, but keep this in mind if you have a sensitive nose. Here comes my worst enemy, the COSRX Vitamin E Vitalizing Sunscreen. This comes in a flat tube with pointy dispenser, which I like. The tube is made of thick plastic and takes a bit more effort to squeeze things out. It has 4 chemical filters, doesn't look greasy, and doesn't irritate my skin. But the sunscreen stinks. 
If you don't like the scent of their odor, a low sunscreen, you're going to loathe this. It smells like the most generic 2-in-1 cleansing gel you'll find at the gym shower and it's heavily fragranced. There's a bit of white cast that does eventually set, but it still feels slightly heavy on the skin. I'm not letting this touch my face anymore and I won't purchase this again. At $23 for 15ml, CosRx really missed a mark on this one. The next one is the Black Rice Moisture Airy Fit Daily Sunscreen from Hara Hara Wonder. For around $15, you get a compact tube of sunscreen with pump dispenser and a clear cap, which can be easily popped out with one hand. It takes a few pumps to get enough products, which is not as quick and easy as a squeeze tube. This sunscreen is quite an all-rounder, boasting 5 chemical filters, no white cast, no grease, and decent moisturizing properties. It's unscented and feels very comfortable on the skin, dries down to leave a healthy glow with no tackiness. The only drawback is that as the day goes by, I notice that this peels a little if I have makeup on. This is however not a problem when I only have a bit of concealer on top. It could have been great a year ago, but there are so many better options now so I won't repurchase this. Now this is a more recent one, the Isn't Tree Only a New Pair Sunscreen. This also comes in a flat tube that's very easy to dispense products. I would normally not get sunscreen with SPF 40, but the onion piqued my interest. Plus, the lavender color is so aesthetic. I have yellow undertone and was hoping this could neutralize it a bit in place of makeup. The lavender tint doesn't look noticeable on the face but does show on my cotton pad when wiped off. Formula-wise, it has 5 chemical filters plus titanium dioxide. There's no white cast and it does sink into the face. The finish is dewy but does not feel heavy or sticky. It's fun to use but I'll probably not repurchase as there are options with stronger SPF out there for less than $22 per 15ml. Compared with the older hyaluronic acid watery sun gel, I would say it's a big improvement. I have the older version before they switch packaging. This has 5 chemical filters, leaves no white cast and does moisturize the skin, but it's criminally greasy. It looks shiny upon application and stays that way for a long time, unless I set it with powder. It also feels slightly heavier than the onion one. Another thing to note is that the matte packaging gets quite dirty over time and you need to scrub hard to get it cleaned. At over $24 for 15ml, I'm not buying this again. This next one is a pleasant surprise, the iUnique Centella Calming Daily Sunscreen. It has a matte tube, which will run into the same problem with the Isn't Tree one, but formula-wise, it's great value for money. At only $16 for 16ml, which is 10 more than the standard size, you get a sunscreen with 4 chemical filters, no white cast, lightweight, and has a cooling effect that calms the skin. I sometimes even saw this for 12 Canadian dollars on sale, which would be less than 10 American dollars. It can be slightly tacky upon application, but dries down after around 5 minutes and gives skin a healthy glow. This won't be a problem at all if you set your sunscreen with powder. Another decent option is the Claire's All Day Airy Sunscreen. The packaging is very basic, flat tube with pointy dispenser tip. The tube has a glossy look but isn't slippery and is easy to clean. I love that this formula melts in the water like texture once spread. It has 4 chemical filters, no white cast, no fragrance, is relatively lightweight and keeps my skin moisturized. It's definitely on the dewier side but does not feel greasy. Keep in mind that summer where I live is hot and slightly humid, so this might do better in a drier climate. It's also very good value for money at only around $16 to $18 for 15 milliliters. I will likely buy this again for winter. I know folks are curious about the Purito daily go-to sunscreen. Purito used to own the sunscreen game until that scandal back in 2020, and seems like this time they decided to play it safe, with a hybrid formula featuring 3 chemical filters and titanium dioxide. I like that the packaging is minimalistic and easy to dispense products. It is non-greasy, moisturizing, and doesn't irritate my eyes even when I have it super close to my lids, not on purpose. 
I've tried options that feel lighter on the skin, but it is not heavy by any means. A decent option at $21.50 for 60ml, a slightly bigger tube than standard. Okay, my second enemy, which is unfortunately from one of my favorite K-beauty brands, is the Rovectin Aqua Soothing UV Protector. This sunscreen comes in a nice glossy white tube that's very easy to squeeze out. However, something is very odd about the formula. When I had it freshly opened 3 months ago, it had no problem except for white cast. Yet, on the day I opened it for this review, it was separated. Even after vigorous shaking, it still comes out as this watery, disintegrated mess. I've never had any sunscreen that goes bad within just 3 months, so this is very unfortunate. As of now, Rovectin has reformulated this sunscreen and it's sold on the website for $31 per 50ml. Rovectin is one of my favorite K-beauty brands though, so I'm still eager to try the new formula and hopefully it doesn't run into the same issue. Okay, drum roll, here comes my favorite sunscreen of all times. And the award goes to the Round Laugh Birch Juice Moisturizing Sun Cream. Now, this is expensive. It's $28 for 50ml, but it's so, so worth it. The packaging is simple, aesthetic, and easy to dispense and control the amount of product squeezed out. The formula? So dreamy. It's a lotion with four chemical filters with absolutely no white cast, it's non-greasy, hydrating, moisturizing, and it's feather light on the skin. The moment it touches the skin, it turns into this watery, glowy, holy water that glides effortlessly and leaves a satiny glow. I lathered way too much on my skin this time, but trust me when I said it did not feel heavy at the least bit. If you think the beauty of Josen rice and probiotic sunscreen is it, this will blow you out of the water. I've already bought another to treat myself because I love this way too much. A very close dupe of the Round Lab one is the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Hyalosica Water Fit Sun Serum. Seriously, the only thing I dislike about this is the packaging. It takes a bit more effort to pump the product out and it gets a little stuck closer to the finish line. The cap also rolls around in my makeup bag, which can be unhygienic at times. But formula-wise, this one is an all-rounder. It has four chemical filters, no white cast, it's feather light, just a tiny bit heavier than the Round Lab one. It blends into a water-like consistency without irritating my skin and eyes. It keeps my skin happy and non-irritated. It's $19 for 50ml, but I got it on sale for $14. I highly recommend this if you want a similar experience to the Round Lab one without breaking the bank. And our final sunscreen for today is the Thank You Farmer Sun Project Water Sun Cream. I wanted to love this, but it did not live up to my expectation. It comes in a flat tube with pointy dispenser, which I think is the most convenient sunscreen packaging out there. The formula features 5 chemical filters and titanium dioxide, and there is no white cast, but it's so greasy. If I don't set it with powder, my face will stay a disco ball 30 minutes after. It's slightly sticky, so definitely not the most lightweight. And it unfortunately stung my eyes. There was one time I accidentally swiped a finger with this sunscreen in my eyes and oh my, I was miserable. I'm not buying this again. All in all, it's hard to pin down one best sunscreen, but here are my top picks. The best overall, you don't say, is the Round Lab sunscreen, which is hands down my holy grail. The best you can get if you're willing to splurge. My vote for the best formula for all season would be the Beauty of Joseon Rice and Probiotics sunscreen and the Skin 1004 one. These are very close seconds to the round lab in terms of texture, weight, and finish. The best for summer, in my humble opinion, would be Benton for the cooling effect that's super refreshing. The best for winter, and yes, you need to wear sunscreen in the winter, would be Claire's for the dewy yet lightweight formula. And finally, the best value for money would be a unique. It's cheap, but good. 
Are there any other sunscreens you'd recommend or like me to try out? Let me know in the comment section. Remember, as soon as the sun is out, that's another day you need to wear sun protection. Take care, peace and love.